Okay, I'm going to show you how to leak test your anesthetic machine. Assuming we've already safety checked it and everything is as it's supposed to be, the last step to the safety check is the leak check. So select the breathing tubes, in this case a rebreathing pediatric set, and a two liter bag, and we're going to attach that to our machine. The reservoir bag or breathing bag hooks to this port on this particular machine. This machine has a port off to the side of it here for your um, scavenger that looks like it would be kind of hanging off the side of the same place, but it's kind of tricky. This goes to your scavenger, here's where your breathing bag goes. So just kind of keep that in mind. They can be located in slightly different spots, but every machine has one. Your exhalation and your inhalation ports for your breathing tubes are here and here. Your exhalation is usually attached to your pop off valve. I'm going to flip these tubes around to the back just so that you guys can actually see what's going on here. I'm going to close my pop off valve. I'm going to turn on my oxygen. And I'm going to occlude the breathing tubes with my hand. You're going to watch your manometer until it reaches 20. Your bag's going to start filling. That's how you know it's actually working at this point. It, takes, it depends on the size of the bag that you have to how long this actually takes. If you have your manometer set for two liters per minute and you have a two liter bag on your machine, it's going to take you one minute to fill the bag. Likewise, if you turn up your flow meter to four liters per minute, it'll take you 30 seconds to fill up your two liter bag. So that is one way you can either calculate out the size of the bag if you're not sure what it is. Here we go. When I've got my manometer reaching 20, because remember that's the magic number that you pop your lungs, you're going to turn off your oxygen source and you're going to watch that manometer. If it stays put, you know the bag, there's no leaks in your machine. According to the manufacturer, that can drop slightly. So as I've been standing here talking over the last 30 seconds, it's dropped two ticks very slowly. This system is able to hold oxygen. You are able to breathe for your pet. It's within manufacturer standards and is considered a slight acceptable leak. When you're done leak checking your machine, you're going to open your pop off valve. Don't get in the habit of releasing your patient end until after your pop off valve has been opened. Now I can open this end and there is no longer any pressure in my system. So that is how you leak check your anesthetic machine.